The argument you take is that uh, concerns about U.S. user privacy may be greatly exaggerated. Yeah, and let me put this in some context. Last week there was an article in Gizmodo that said, don't buy anyone an Echo. <laughs> uh, the ACLU has warned against these devices. Uh, Cory Doctorow, a very respected writer over Boing Boing, said it was normalizing surveillance. And here I am, and I've got Echoes and, and Amazon Dots in pretty, pretty much every room at my house. So I was sort of rationalizing it to myself. <laughs> and I mean, look, if you do look at the privacy precautions Amazon and Google have taken with these devices, they're very explicit. This is not recording everything. It's in a passive mode, listening for the wake words. And when it, it hears the wake words, it sends your command up to the cloud. And you can go on the app and you can look at what they send. That's not to say we can't conjure some hypothetical scenarios that might get us scared, but you have to go through a couple of leaps of logic to get there. Well, and trust is important here, and we definitely have had situations where trust has been undermined by some of these tech giants. What if the devices are hacked? What if, you know, you know, Amazon corporate says we're not listening, but there is someone who is? Right. It's a good question. Um, they've taken a couple precautions. One, they don't let third parties or developers just load apps onto the system. They have what's called skills, and they go and they monitor all that stuff. So it's not an open platform like even Android or, or, or Mac OS, right? It's very curated. Number two, it hasn't happened yet. There have been some third party researchers that have demonstrated from vulnerabilities, but they've always gotten in and, and had to take apart the device. So until someone can just show a remote, uh, a remote hack, you know, we have to sort of suspend our disbelief. So, Bob, what do you, should we be scared or should we trust them? No, I mean, well, look, we have to be cautious always with this stuff, but let's not forget all the nanny cams and all the cameras that we're already, you know, broadcasting our phones. all right. kinds our of stuff. Computers, our computers. I mean, there's been so many examples like this already. This is not any different in that regard. Now, the issue is because smart speakers are so popular, it's impacting a larger group of people. But the other thing to remember is as the technology improves, you're actually going to have a little bit less going up to the cloud because Right now, one of the problems with these smart speakers is you, they can only respond to one request, do this. Mm -hmm. They can't do a conversation. To do a conversation, they actually have to have more intelligence locally to be able to have a, you know, a, a back and forth conversation, which means theoretically, over time, a little bit less goes up. Still potentially a threat, but the, as the technology evolves, I think we'll see an evolution there. And too. look, there are conversations that they indeed are listening to, and those conversations are going back to headquarters. I mean, my kids are talking to Alexa all day long. Amazon doesn't necessarily want to hear all of that. But, you know, should we be thinking about, you know, what we're saying to Alexa? I, I think that if you're uh, running an illegal business from your home uh, <laughs> or, or committing crimes, you probably shouldn't say Alexa and then do that bad thing. In fact, if you're, if you're running, if you're running a, an illegal business, you know, maybe take the precaution of not having it in your home. Because one question is, could, the, could, could police authorities, could the FBI one day right. get a wiretap to go and alter the device enough that it is turned into an eavesdropping device. We haven't seen that yet. We don't know about it. I would suspect Amazon or Google would resist that and they would have to change the architecture of the device because right now you know it glows in a, right. a specific color when it's transmitting.